Hi there. So today I'm going to be baking a no-bake cheesecake in the Thermacook Pro M2. So I'm going to run the recipe from my phone through an app that I have and you'll see just how fun and easy it is to use your TC Pro M2 and program your own recipes in as well and drive it from your phone. So we're going to begin by placing 75 grams of butter, which I've already pre-measured out, into the Thermacook. If it just goes to sleep at all, like mine just did, just uh, press the, the button to just wake it up again. Okay, so we'll pop the lid on. And we are going to uh, just melt that for three minutes on 50 degrees speed two. So now I'm going to uh, just press start on my phone. And it's going to go for three minutes on speed two at 50 degrees, so that's to melt my butter. So I'll just let her do a thing. Okay, so that part is done. It's nicely melted. And now we're going to add in 250 grams of digestive biscuits, just the plain ones, not the chocolate ones. So we're just gonna pop those in. And I've already pre-measured those out. Can use the scales on your thermocook of course but uh, for the sake of um, being faster on the video I wanted to have it already pre-measured so those are in there I'm just going to pop the lid back on and our next step is we're going to process that for one minute on speed six so I'll just press start on my phone so how cool is that? Now one thing you will notice is if your temperature is over 60 degrees, as mine is because of the melted butter, it, had, it creeped up to 70 even though I'd had the temperature for 50, um, the speed won't go over 4. So even though I had requested speed 6 for this part of the function, it was not going to do that. It's only done it at speed 4 and that is a safety feature. So that is now uh, done its little thing, and that's our biscuit base. Now I might just do it a little bit more, it's, there's a few larger lumps in there, so I might just do that process again, and it's okay to do that when you're working on a recipe, um, as in my case I couldn't do the 60 uh, speed 6 because of the, the temperature, but now my um, thermocook has dropped to 60, so I should be able to do that. So I'm just going to blitz that for just a few seconds more on speed 6 to get it to the nice smooth consistency that I want. So I've cleaned my bowl out so that I can prepare my cream cheese filling. So I've got uh, 500 grams of cream cheese and I'm just going to pop that in my bowl. So my cream cheese is all in the bowl. We've got the recipe asks for 65 grams of sugar. I always like to reduce my sugar so I've got 45 grams of sugar. I don't like it too sweet. I err on the side of healthy. And we want the juice of half a lemon. Um, I've got lime because I didn't have any lemons, so uh, compromise, you use what you've got. And we want two teaspoons of vanilla. If I can get my lid off. And we are also going to put in 100 grams of milk. Now I'm going to use cashew milk today because I made that yesterday. Didn't like it in my coffee, so I'm going to use it for something. So cheesecake it is. And again, 
then we're going to pop the lid on. So now we're going to process, process that for three minutes on speed four. So we will start from the phone, just because it's fun to do so. Now while the, uh, the thermocook is mixing the cheesecake mix, I'm going to glue my gelatin. So I need one tablespoon of gelatin and 50 grams of water, which I've already got my water measured out. And I'm going to measure out my one tablespoon of gelatin. Pop that on my water. And we're just going to give that a little bit of a stir and we're going to bloom that for about five minutes. So now the final bit uh, to do with your gelatin after you, you've let it bloom for five minutes, just pop it in the microwave, keep it on it, 20 seconds. You just want to uh, dissolve it once more so it's nice and liquidy. And we're going to add that in to the cheesecake mix. We are going to process that for one minute on speed four until smooth. And it's just a waiting game and that's going to be our cheesecake. When that comes out we're going to pop that on our base and pop that back in the fridge for at least six hours but I'm going to do mine overnight. I don't need it until tomorrow and then you can just um, Serve it with uh, fresh fruit of your choice or whatever you'd like. So um, the final decoration is all up to you. I'm going to leave mine plain and serve it just as it is. So I think it's going to be quite nice just like that. So um, I'll make sure that I have a, a photo attached to this video as to how it looks at the end when I serve it up tomorrow. So this is our cheesecake mix now, all ready to pour onto our base, which I've retrieved from the fridge. And um, it'll go back in the fridge once it's uh, nicely smoothed over, and we'll see it again tomorrow. So just so you can see that going in, it's a little bit hard with one hand, but there's your beautiful cheesecake mix. So happy cheesecake making. And so here we have the cheesecake, and it uh, just looks amazing. Um, see if I can position a little bit better. And there you go. So easy.